only deal with fire, we passing on all the weak ish. Talking pure culture, ain't none of that hype beast ish. Nah, this beginning to the end, no. Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo. Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, know the God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hendo. I'm out. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Saint Hendo, God's favorite sneakerhead. All right, so what we doing today? Oregon phones. All right. Something you don't see every day, right? Oh, something you don't see every day. Yeah, so I got these a while ago at SneakerCon. I actually got lucky. Um, I was at SneakerCon and it so happened to be a guy there that was selling stuff in the pit. And um, I knew the guy and I kind of gave him a good deal on a pair of LeBron 8 playoff joints. Uh, actually, LeBron 8, the red ones called the finals postseasons. I gave him a good deal on those. Um, so, yeah, love my bad. It ain't nothing in the box. Like, the box is all scuffed up from when I was learning. Through. So, anyway. So, when I saw him, like, I already knew. He good people. You know what I'm saying? He good people. So, um, it was time for him to kind of pass the blessings back back to your boy. Pass the blessings back. So, the blessings made their way back around. So, uh, he went ahead and gave me these. I can't remember. It was a real good price. You know what I'm saying? I was appreciative of what he did for me. Uh, so, because I had to have these. Uh... This was the same year they dropped. Um, I can't remember when these dropped, but the same year they dropped is when I got these. Uh, but I, I love these sneakers. I'm not even like the biggest phone guy. I like phones, but like, I knew I wanted these bad. So, sneaker itself, the whole side, this is all 3M. Um, all the, the feathers you see, all oh, that's 3M. All right. Then you have the uh, Oregon Duck logo. The little duck head guy, or whatever their mascot name is, they got him right there on the tongue. All right. You got Oregon O right on the back. All right. You got the Nike swoosh and that Oregon logo. I mean, Oregon logo and the Oregon uh, color scheme. All right. Got the bottom, but the bottom is super dope because it has like, it's a translucent sole, but it's like glitter inside of it. So it's super crazy. So then I went like did some extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I went ahead and I got the uh, the custom hang tag, you know what I'm saying, with the Oregon, the duck feet. You, know, right? you see what I'm doing, all right? You see the duck feet. All right, then I went ahead. Now, both sneakers are um, not exactly the same. So, all right, let me go ahead and show you that portion, all right? So on the back of this one, it has the O for Oregon, and then it has ducks right there uh -huh, on the actual pull tab, all right? So then... On this sneaker, it has the duck feet, and it says uh, Oregon right there on the pull tag. All right, that's what you have there. So, and it, but also on the tongue, it's still the same little duck head guy, the little mascot. He's on the tongue still. All right, so he's on the tongue. All right, so um, inside there is the uh, they have their mascot on the inside also. All right, so uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But I'll show it real quick. All right. So, on both sneakers, it's like that. Yep, same thing on both sneakers. Like I said, I have the custom hang tag. And I got the hang tag from um, a guy that was at SneakerCon that year. Um, I can't remember. His name was, oh, my bad. His name was Nike Nate. I don't know if he even still does that anymore because I know he had shut his IG down. And then he had stopped doing hang tags. But he made all kinds of custom hang tags. I bought like 15 different ones when he was there that year. But super nice. I like these. All right, so we got that custom hang tag. All right, then on top of that, let's see what else we got going on. So then I grabbed these socks uh, from Rock'em Socks. And that are, you know, because they, they were there too. Or they had a representative there or whatever. So I ended up grabbing these socks that have the the duck wings all over them. You know what I'm saying? So... All that kind of go hand in hand. You see what we're doing out here. Let me put that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put them on today, but you know, got a lot going on. They got rock them right on the toe. All right. So, and that's both socks. You know what I'm saying? I just thought that was real slick to go with them. You know what I'm saying? I don't even be like a big sock guy like that. So, I just kind of keep these all on deck. All right. But I knew I had to have these. These were almost like one of my grail foams. Um, they definitely like a really hot item back then. I'm sure they still are now. I think they was going for like, back then they were going for like a thousand dollars. I think now they might go for like six or seven hundred. But still, this is a real good pickup. Um, I really enjoy these phones. Every time I wear them, I get people looking at them. It's always breaking necks. All right, so 
I had to show these just kind of a quick overview of what the sneaker is about. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Um, I just thought it was dope. You know what I'm saying? A little light work. Um, but I've only wore these a few times, for real. Um, and also, I like that car um, that uh, carbon fiber piece that shank. It's just pure black. It's just black, black. It's like no gray speckling to it. I uh, thought that was fire. Um, just the whole sneaker itself, man, as a whole, I just thought this thing was dope. I like the way they put it together. That's the effort I be wanting Nike to put in this stuff. Like, I just like that. I like the fact that they put that little bit of extra effort into putting these sneakers together like this and have a whole concept. And it's not just cookie cutter and a different color. Like, I like that. Um, that makes me feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of stuff. Like, I mean, I know at the end of the day, none of this stuff is really worth what we pay for it, especially when it's like resale value. But still, like, I still like to feel like I, I, I want my money to feel like I got the most out of my money when I buy a sneaker. I don't just want the plain Jane joint. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, just, I really don't. So that's that's how I roll. Um, Y'all know how I do. Like, I thought about putting yellow laces in here, but I thought that'd be a little much. So I like to keep it just like this. I think that yellow that's on here is plenty enough. So that was it for real. I just wanted to show y'all this, see what's going on. Um, I feel like I ain't seen these in forever and I own them. And they still, they just sit back there, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't pulled them out, but I'm definitely gonna pull them back out this year, uh, wear them at some point or another. But they just super cold, super cold. Anybody that, like, if you have a chance to get these, get them. If you, if you can get any phone, I would say grab these. Like, hands down, grab these. Like, these are a must for anybody that loves phones. This is, this is one that you have to have, all right? So yeah, but that's it, man. We're gonna do some more videos. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to it, you know what I mean? So appreciate y'all. Let's do it again. I'll let y'all later.